Well, hello, campers and woodsmen. I'm Donnie Pavlini, Donnie Pavlini Outdoors, and I want to wish you a happy new year. Let's make it a good one. Well, looks like it's clouding up a mite. As a matter of fact, we've got some strong thunderstorms headed this way. I don't know how much time I'm going to have, but I wanted to come to you today to go over how to supercharge your mountain house meals and other dehydrated food. So let's hurry up and take a look before we get wet. <laughs> Before we actually get this meal started cooking, I want to go over some of the theory about what I'm talking about. Now, uh, through dealing with some of these dehydrated or freeze-dried meals and things of this nature, I've found out that when I'm eating some of them, even though some of them, you know, taste pretty good, you always get the feeling that there's something missing, like it's missing something. And from some conversations with uh, my good friend, Mr. Homer Mayo, check his channel out, Homer Mayo on YouTube, uh, who makes these meals, uh, he explained to me that it's always a good idea to cook the meats and stuff and remove as much fat out of it as you can. And I suspect that's exactly what Mountain House and some other people are doing. And here comes the rain. But yep, it has begun. Charging my Lucy light. So we're gonna conduct this whole thing inside this truck. Olive oil, okay? It's like when you go to the movie theater and your popcorn, if you get no butter on it, okay? It is a, has a certain amount of blandness to the taste. But if you say, hey, throw me some butter on it, then it obviously tastes better or the flavor, whether you like it or not, is definitely enhanced. So what we want to do is we want to take this, this olive oil, um, which is uh, it's healthy, actually. Uh, it says that we can have, a male can have up to six tablespoons of this a day. But be careful because uh, each tablespoon has, over, no, has right at 120 calories per tablespoon. Now this could come in handy for some of you northern guys that is when it's cold and you need some extra calories or you hiking guys on the trail uh, adding a little bit of olive oil can certainly fortify what you have. I want to put some garlic salt in mine because I really really like garlic salt. It tastes really well. You add whatever spices that you like. Season to your taste. And I adore black pepper. Just love it. So I'm going to pepper this stuff up. Now, I don't know if you can see what we have here. Put the lid on the olive oil, shake it up, and this is what we have. Making coffee in my truck is definitely not something that is new to me. However, this jet boil is. This is safe because I'm cracking the window. Don't ever burn a stove or jet boil or anything like that in your truck without cracking a window. You'll end up dead quick. Day to be outside, gang. Today on the menu will be the breakfast skillet, hash browns, scrambled eggs, mixed with pork sausage patty, peppers, and onions. I suspect that the oil that we're going to introduce into this is going to enhance the flavor of both the eggs and 
little pork sausage patty nuggets in there. The amount of oil that I'm going to use is going to be two spoons. Teaspoons, whatever it is. One. I got this idea from I'm a big fan of Nor meals and I got this idea from making some Nor food and I noticed that they say you know add oil some of them say add a little butter or whatever and I said hmm maybe that's the difference so this is this little experiment we're doing I'm gonna add our water I'm also pouring it on top of that spoon so I can clean that spoon up. Gonna give the meal a good stir. And buddy, this is some kind of hot. Yow. All right. I'm going to seal it up. Don't forget to make enough hot water for a nice little beverage. And of course, my beverage of choice is DPO's El Cafe Sexo Robusto 4-in-1 Instant Coffee. Alright, time to check it out. Time to check out our little mountain house meal here. And I'm going to give you... Huh, it's going to be honest. You know, it's got to be that way. Now, final stir of this. Stuff rehydrated, reconstituted beautifully. I don't know if you can see this, and it's hot. This is not my first time to eat this meal, and it's actually one that I really like. Okay, this is the deal. Did it help? Absolutely. Yes, it did. Introducing or reintroducing some fat into this actually enhanced the flavor. It brought it back up. It kind of woke the sausage back up and the eggs. And it has a texture in, in the way it, it even kind of fools with that a little bit. It doesn't have that as much of a dehydrated taste, okay? I'm very happy that this worked out this way. I suspected it would, but I'm extremely happy that it worked out this way. So, now that's good stuff every time. Quick little sidebar. Maybe some companies like the Mountain House people and, and others, uh, like Backpackers Pantry and, you know, uh, they may want to think about including in their packages a little vial of, of oil, okay? Um, uh, like I say, season to taste. It's going to take you about one tablespoon per portion. I just had a two portion uh, breakfast skillet 
So if you're having like a, a one or one and a half uh, portion, you know, adjust your, your oil, uh, you know, accordingly. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I got three quick little shout outs to give out. One is to Mike Ware with Absorb Self-Reliance. He's doing a, a 2K push giveaway. Go over there and check him out. I'll leave the links below on all three of these. The links will be below. The other one is going to be Ranger Kooky's evil twin brother named The Ranger. Go and check him out. You will definitely be entertained. And speaking of entertainment, my good buddy Mark with Manland 121. He's having a giveaway of his own, and it's really cool. So go and check out my friends, and I, I'd really appreciate it. And I appreciate you today for taking the time to watch this video. It means everything. If you like what you see, please comment, subscribe, share. And I will be extremely in your debt. From Donnie Pavlini Outdoors to you and yours. Make a good meal great, and we'll see you in the woods. Take care. Blow, you son of a bitch, you'll never take me alive. And brother, she's a-blowing. <laughs>